There are some pretty big issues with endless mode right now, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys some glitches in endless mode. Now, a ton of people already know about these, and the only way that these are going to be fixed is when Evan fixes them. So he's been fixing glitches for like the past couple days, but right now there are still a bit of other glitches. We actually did reset the leaderboard today because of these glitches, and the highest anyone's gotten is 107, which is a lot better than before because with the glitches, you could literally get up to like wave 200 or something. Now, there are still a few glitches that work, but I'm just going to be going over all of the really bad glitches. Again, most people know about these. Me doing a video on it isn't really going to change anything because a lot of people do already know about these. Evan fixed most of them, but before we get into the video, make sure you like and subscribe because if you don't, then this is going to be what you see at the end of your bed at 3 a.m. Anyways, we need to equip the upgraded Titan Drill Man, which still does not say oh people's God. usernames oh. on it. And it's been an entire day since it was awarded, so no. 99 exists. That means just one person did not claim it. We also need to equip the Titan Clock Man because you can literally freeze time and there is a glitch with that. And we also need to equip the two slowing units that are broken. You have to have both of them. So Chef TV Man and Green Laser Camera Man. And just for the sake of making this glitch an actual strategy, we're going to equip the Santa TV Man. So now we have the two slowing units that have a glitch, the two good units that have a glitch for DPS and a farm so that we can get money. And I'm actually not gonna spawn money this round. I'm gonna show you guys all the glitches. So I'm just doing normal things and waiting for more money and toilets and stuff. The first one I'm getting any to join me for because it is the glitch where if you have two people and one person leaves, the health goes down. Now we originally did that because we thought it was a pretty good system, but people were abusing it on endless mode to get a lot higher. Essentially, one person leaves before everything spawns or however many people are there leave so that everything spawns at the health of having one player in the server and then everyone rejoins and their units are back in the stuff so they essentially do the damage with all their units and the original person's units to toilets that are only as strong as one player now i got any in the server i'm gonna skip the wave and let's see if things spawn stronger and yeah it looks like it doubled the health because we have two players in the server now now i'm pretty sure evan did not fix this yet but let's say and he plays something really really good and he's gonna like be weird. So now whenever stuff spawns, so the toilets this wave are at 353 health. Now let's say he left and he's gonna reconnect. So if I skip, then the toilets are at 197 health and then he could press the reconnect button in the lobby after everything spawns and the toilets are gonna be like right here when he reconnects. So they're all gonna be the health of just me being in the server, but then his units are gonna be back and yeah, that essentially doubles how much damage you can do. I've told Evan that for like four updates and we've had nothing happen so far okay and he is here again so and he plays something down yeah okay now leave so that it disappears and i'm gonna put something there okay now and he rejoined okay okay so i guess evan did not fix it still i've also told evan this one for like four updates in a row so the chef tv man is in the same location as the titan present man hitboxes are supposed to be permanent so that this cannot happen like if someone places something there you're not supposed to be able to put something over it if it leaves but this is another glitch people use especially with like booster units nearby so that all of them can be in the range of one booster unit without having to place like a lot more booster units and to have them in good locations too okay well there in he goes so the next glitch is the one i was kind of talking about a little in the beginning if you combine green laser cameraman with chef tv man slowing thing it's really overpowered so if i skip we're gonna actually be able to afford actually i, I want to upgrade the santa tv and they deserve it. They've been nice. So I think Evan might have fixed it, but basically the green laser cameraman and the chef TV man together both slow things. All other slowing units don't stack with each other, but for some reason these did. And they essentially made things go at zero speed because the chef TV man slows them by 25% and then the green laser cameraman slows by 50%. And I'm pretty sure it's based on the total. So they added together and it slowed by 75%, which is like way too much. That's basically basically a whole two times better than green laser cameraman because with green laser they go at 50% of the speed but with that they win at only 25% of their original speed but okay that one's that one Evan to finally fix so that is good but the next glitch involves the chef or no not not the chef the clock man and the upgraded titan drill man so the upgraded titan drill man is still glitched a little bit there were a few things we had to work out with it I mean he does a lot of new things that no other units do and we tested 
them, but there's just a lot of glitches or some glitches. Not as many as in the very beginning before he came out, but there are some glitches that are gonna happen to everyone, like not when you're testing. Like the glitch where he flies away sometimes. I'm pretty sure Evan fixed that one now, but that did not happen when we were testing it. Anyways, I'm gonna max out Green Laser Cameraman, and Evan fixed a few other glitches though. Like I think he might have fixed the Clock Van and upgraded Titan Drill Man glitch, but we'll see. At least the highest people are getting now is like 107, so whenever we fix the glitches where like you can leave and rejoin and that will make the health lower and stuff, then that, which Evan said he'll fix by next reset, is probably gonna make it where people can only get up to like 100 or something. And of course in the future we're gonna add more things and we're also gonna balance the upgraded Titan Drill Man if we see that like you need him for endless mode, because I mean I've seen people last reset without the upgraded Titan Drill Man get to like 113, and now people are only getting to like 107 and there aren't any differences, the few glitches that still work, this reset, Evan really needs to fix those. But we'll just have to see, I'm gonna max out the Chef TV Man first, and then we'll do that next glitch. I maxed out all of the Santa TV then on wave 23, so still gotta max out that Chef. I maxed out the Chef TV Man, and now it is time to do the glitch. So Titan Clock Man can go literally anywhere, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put him like, I feel like right here is good, he can have a range over this whole area. And it's not like I can fit the upgraded Titan Drill Man there anyways, but where I can put him is, I think, over here is a nice area. So pretty much how this glitch worked is like, you gotta do time stop after he pulls in some toilets to his like chest area, and that is supposed to freeze all toilets. I'm pretty sure in the beginning, like, I don't know what Evan did to the time stop, but that just froze all toilets literally forever, and when they'd spawn, they'd be frozen at the start. But then I think right now, it might still freeze them with the upgraded Titan Drill Man, but only like freeze the ones that he pulls in with his chest thing. We'll have to see though, because I'm not 100% sure. I think Evan might have actually fixed that too. I need to max him out first before he can use the chest thing attack, but right now he's working how he should. And he's, again, not really as overpowered as you think, because he doesn't do any AoE damage, even though he does like 170k DPS maxed out. The upgraded Titan Cinema Man does mostly AoE damage, and so does the Sinister Titan TV Man, so like, this is just like a good option for for just DPS, not really like taking care of AOE things. But of course, again, after all the glitches get fixed, we'll balance him some more if we need to. Okay, here's the 20,000 upgrade. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the one where he gets the chest attack and it's this much wider range. And then the 40,000 upgrade is gonna make him do a lot more damage and stuff. But let's test this glitch now. So the jetpack police toys are probably instantly gonna die because like it does 100k damage. Those are definitely not surviving. All all of the somewhat weaker toilets are just gonna completely die to that. Okay, he's pulling in some dual blade toilets, which takes a few seconds for them to die, which I mean, he's using like all three of his attacks on them right now, so 80k DPS goes pretty crazy. And Titan Clock Man can just chill over here for now. I'm gonna try this glitch though when the giant blind toilets come in, because they have a million health. Yeah, after a toilet gets pulled in, it's not supposed to be able to get pulled in again, and I feel like that will like balance stuff a lot. Well, for 10 seconds, it's not supposed to be able to get pulled again. But anyways, okay, he pulled in something strong. So I'm gonna freeze time and let's see if Evan fixed it Oh, he's pulling in another one. He has two of them so far and let's see when time unfreezes Yeah, when time unfreezes, it's actually fixed now. They do finally go back So it looks like that is actually mostly fixed which is good And the only thing that really needs to be fixed besides that is like if the toilets pulled in It shouldn't be able to get pulled in for another 10 seconds And then I feel like that is definitely gonna make him a lot more balanced because in the beginning when he could infinitely pull in toilets like once every second. I mean, he still pulls them in once every second, but like when he could literally infinitely pull them in and there was no limit and no cooldown or anything, that was way too overpowered because right now he has a toilet in there, so he can't pull in more than one toilet at once unless if time is frozen. I feel like that was a pretty good thing to balance him, but of course we'll see more things in the future. Most of these glitches did get fixed by Evan within the last day, but there are still a few more glitches. Today I'm planning to make all of the UI for the marketplace, so that might take a while. And we'll try to add the marketplace next update. Hopefully all the glitches in this one can get fixed, so that in the marketplace, if there are any glitches with that, then Evan can focus on it. It's gonna be a really big system though, and there's also gonna be a server list for the trading plazas. I've played a lot of games with server lists before, and I have some really good ideas for a server list that's gonna be like one of the best server lists in any game. Like the most convenient to see like which ones you already 
went to, searching for them, finding them, what stats show up on the server list, and stuff like that. So, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.